What's going on guys, Tev here today, and today what we will be covering is doing an oil change for a 2017 Jeep Cherokee. Let's get straight into it. For our tools we'll be using today, it's pretty self-explanatory, we'll be using our oil, obviously, well our engine oil, we'll be using our funnel, our oil filter, and our socket screw, which is 13 millimeters, and our filter clamp and we have a flat head so let's go ahead get under this car i'll put the part numbers and stuff like that that's required i'll put the oil that i'm using also in the in the description so just you know look out for that if you need it okay so as i said we're gonna get under this car so here's two little doors that are important to be on the lookout for luckily they kind of labeled them so that's where your oil drain screw is and if you come more towards the front you will find your oil filter so first what i will start with today is pretty much the oil drain that way we can just get this oil going so let me set that up and that's where your flathead comes in because if you look underneath you need a flathead pretty much to get to this part right here so that way you can undo it so you just want to go ahead twist that and that's just going to fall right down for you there's your screw right there so that way you can get a clue of what that screw looks like Okay, so I'm gonna get my pan and everything set in place. And if you notice, I don't have a jack under my car because with these cars, luckily they're pretty much high enough so you don't have to jack them up depending on the ground that you have at your house or whatever facility you'll be doing your oil change at. So let's get that pan set up. like that got it loose so let's drain this oil make sure you have that pan underneath there's a splash all over there we go boom oil is coming out so we'll let that drain As I said, this is a 2.4 liter. That way you have a clue of what it looks like. And what I like to do is pretty much unscrew the cap while it's draining. That way it's kind of like the shotgun effect. Just sends it right through. So as I mentioned, you want to get your flathead. Get this door cracked on open. Just twist it. It's pretty self-explanatory just pops right out that's all that's holding it in place now since it's so close to each other we can just move our filter pretty much a little further up just like so just completely let everything drain on out so now we'll get our oil filter clamp you fill your filter this is very messy as well so make sure you have pretty good adequate space because it's about to drain oh and there it goes filters out we'll just let it do its thing Okay, so that's pretty much doing its thing with the drain. So now what the next step is, we will get our 
screw back in there so that way it can hold the oil in so what we'll do is adjust it pretty much like this Put the screw back in Okay, so whenever putting on the new filter, what I like to do is pretty much lubricate the gasket that you'll see around, which is that ring right there. That way, once when you put it on, it's not too hard to take off in the future. So just using some of the new oil or the old oil, that's all personal preference. Some people, they like to pour a little bit of oil inside of this. Um, so that's what I plan on doing is just lubricating my gasket then getting under the car and putting this on and then you know filling it back up Okay, so let's go ahead and screw this on Pretty much you can do it hand tight if you want. You can kind of give it that little bit of leverage, but I wouldn't over crank it. That way you can take it off for future sake. Okay, so now the next step is going to be putting our oil now through the actual engine just capping it off so like i said this engine it holds 5.5 quarts of oil i don't plan on putting that exact amount in because once you start the engine up the oil is going to heat up and it's going to rise so what we'll do let's get our funnel set now we're just pouring it through so we filled all the new oil in we're done with that and so now let's do the final step which is resetting the oil light so let's get inside the car okay so the final step let's go ahead put our key in the ignition we want to put the keys set to run so let me show you that you don't want to start up the car it's going to do its little thing once when it loads through i'm going to press okay and you want to come over here to the directional pad so boom, once when it's finished loading through, you're gonna press down. There's a line pop up right at it, cool. So you're gonna come to oil life. As you see, mine says 28%. You're gonna press and hold the okay button, and you're gonna step on the pedal at the same time four times. So press and hold and press the pedal four times. So and mine reset there you go so i let it go so now mine says 100 percent oil life let's go ahead and start up the car just to make sure that it shows and there you go okay so now that we finished everything you know for those of you doing oil changes at home make sure that you properly recycle your oil by bringing it to a nearby AutoZone or you know O'Reilly's whatever you have in your area so that way they can safely recycle the oil for you and you know make sure you don't pour it down in the sewer or anything crazy like that because you just want to do it properly and it's all free you just bring your used oil and your oil filter and they'll get rid of it for you but and there you have it. We did our oil change today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And for those of you new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, hit that like button, leave any comments, let me know how it works out for you. I'll put the information for the parts that I use down in the description. And other than that, you guys continue being safe, wash your hands, and God bless. Peace.